Okay, question 12 asks, if the distance between two objects is cut by one-third, uh, what happens to the gravitational force between those two objects? Okay, uh, it decreases by one-third, choice A, decreases by one-ninth, choice B, C, increases by three, D, increases by nine. So here, what's happening is we're going to utilize Newton's law of gravity. We have two objects, mass M1, mass M2. And originally their distance, we can call it D. And what are we doing? We are decreasing their distance. We are cutting it by a third, okay? So their distance is gonna go, or we can keep this one the same place if we want, but bring them one third as much closer. So one third D, okay? But we're keeping their masses the same. What's gonna happen to the gravitational force between the two objects? Well. Newton's law of gravity, F equals G, M1, M2, over their uh, distance between them squared, right? So originally the distance is just, the R means uh, radius or distance. So the original distance is R is just D, and then one third D. So what happens? We get G, M1, M2, over one third D quantity squared. So you have to make sure the tricky thing here is you have to square the whole thing, one-third d quantity squared. You can't just put one-third d squared, okay? You have to also square the one-third. So what happens there? G m1 m2 over one-ninth d squared, right? When you square one-third, one-third times one-third is one-ninth. So then what happens? The nine down here goes to the top and becomes 9g m1 m2 over d squared, right? f is equal to 9g m1 m2 over d squared. Well, what's g m1 m2 over d squared? That's the original force that the two objects exerted on each other, right? So the new force, we can call this new force, is equal to the 9 times the original force. Okay, so this is the answer. Yeah, the force increases by nine, okay? So kind of logically, you can also make some <clears throat> eliminations here. You can kind of eliminate decreases by one third, decreases by one ninth, because you can say, if two objects come closer to each other, they should exert more force on each other. So the force cannot decrease. It's gotta either increase by three or increase by nine, okay? Then the next thing you have to do is apply the square law. So if you're decreasing it by one third, you square it, you get nine. So the force here is nine times, the force here is nine times as much as the force there. What would happen if we made them four times as close? So it became here one fourth D, okay? How much would the force be? Now it would be what? 16 times, 16 times this force, right? One fourth squared is uh, one sixteenth. The sixteenth goes to the top and becomes 16 times as strong, okay? We can go the other direction. What if we made the distance twice as large, okay, as the original? Okay, so if the original distance was like this, D, what if we made the two objects twice as far away? 2D, what would happen? Now the force would decrease by, it has to decrease, right? By what? One over two squared, which is one fourth. So the force, would be, the force here would be one fourth as much as the force there. We could also do other things. We could say, what happens to the force of gravity if we double their distance and double one of the masses, you know? So it goes like this like this, D, what if we made one of them twice as heavy and double their distance also? Uh, the other one, we keep it the same mass and then double the distance, 2D. What would the force of these two objects be as compared to the original two objects, okay? We can consider these as being planets, you know? So, um, what's the answer there? Well, the force here is just equal to 
gm1 m2 over d squared what's the force here g2 m1 m2 over 2 d quantity squared you see this 2 has a different role than this 2 this 2 is just doubled you don't you're not squaring that one this one you got to square it the distance so what's going to happen there 2 g m1 m2 over 4d squared. This one, g m1 m2 over d squared, is equal to their original force. So it's going to be one half of the original force. Okay. So the force between these two planets is half the force of these planets. And you can do a variety of combinations here. Just keep practicing. What happens if I make this heavy? What if I made that also double the mass? 2m1, 2m2, and then double the distance. What would the force of those two planets be? Okay, think about it for a minute. Put there into the equation. G 2m1, 2m2 over 2d quantity squared. Well, what's going to happen here? You have 2 here, you have another 2 here, and then you have 2 squared, which is a 4. The force will be the same, right? G 2m1. 2m2 over 2d quantity squared, 4 over 4 cancels. The force here is the same as the force here. You see? So if you keep practicing like this, you'll get good at this. What happens when I make one of them different mass, change their distances, and then practice what will happen to the force? Okay? Thank you.